Hi guys, it's plaid week day three and I thought to myself, you guys know how I love my scarves and I have so many plaid scarves and I thought, why don't I make a display for them? And I felt like I also wanted to make it like a farmhouse feel. So that is what we're gonna do today. Now these lights that you see here, I purchased from Walmart and they're perfect because they just require batteries, which means I don't have to find a plug to light this display up. These lights require three AA batteries batteries and I have my batteries from the Dollar Tree and they work great and let me tell you they really do last a long time. I have some AA batteries that have been in some string of lights from Christmas like two years ago and it's still working. So I'm just putting in the batteries here and what I want to do is actually use these lights to light up my barn wood ladder and I actually got this ladder that you'll see here from Amazon and I will link it down below for you guys. Actually, I take that back. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I actually ordered one from Amazon and then I went to Hobby Lobby a couple days later and they had this ladder for so much cheaper. It was like $20. So go check out the front of their like display when you first walk in through the doors, you may find this. But it's like a four foot ladder and it's perfect and I'm just trying to find the perfect spot for this and I thought the entryway has to be it. It's kind of the perfect spot in my opinion for scarves because I can just grab it while I'm heading out the door. But like I said, I wanna jazz it up, I wanna make it look cute. So that is where the lights are gonna come in. So I'm gonna take these lights and I'm just gonna string them all around, there goes my dog, all around the ladder. These lights just turned out so, per so perfectly, 20 on each side. And as when I was done, as you can see here, I just kind of put the battery pack behind and it was tucked back there. And you really won't be able to see it once I start adding the scarves, but look how cute that looks with everything all lit up. I'm not quite sure what my daughter's doing, but I was just standing there in horror. And then there's her thumbs up. All right, moving on. So now we're going to add the scarves here. So I'm picking some of my favorites and you'll see eventually see that there are some that I didn't make it and that I took back out and then I did some rearranging, but that's all I'm gonna do here is spend some time picking out my top three favorites and then I'm just going to, you know, throw them over the little ladder and oh, it looks so cute already. Now that one with the pom-poms I just got in my plaid haul for plaid week day two at a store called Francesca's. I adore it. And then that other plaid one with the ruffle trim I actually made in plaid week last year. And I didn't mean to do that on purpose, just that's how much I love plaid. So if you wanna see me make that plaid scarf, I'll link that video down below. And I actually made a matching one for my doggy too. So go check that out. But of course the red one is my all-time favorite, but I eventually add these cute little plaid skaters. Now one of them my dog ate, so if it looks like it's weird at the bottom it's because she chewed off the skating part. Um, or the, the, whatever you call the bottom of the skate, I don't know. And I thought that the red skate against the red scarf was too much, so I just did some rearranging and I really love how it turned out. And that is my plaid week day three for 2017. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you for plaid week day four. Bye.